Hi, I'm Susan Ormiston, and we're online checking out the blogs, mining online, video reading Twitters, finding the stories that emerge only on the web before they go anywhere else. It's a whole new way of politics. Today on Harper, behind closed doors. It's revolutionized what's going on in regards to the campaign. Really what we're talking about is a virtual wild west out there where anybody can say anything or do anything and it has lots of eyeballs. Ask John Tory, caught joking about Ottawa University as U0. Not a colossal misstep, but it went viral on YouTube. Control of the campaign is moved out of the headquarters and out of the hands of the professionals. And now voters are also creating, we call it voter-generated content. The internet spawned web-only ads like this one for Barack Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And web spoofs like this one against John McCain. <laughs> Challenging 50 years of politics on television. Since the 1960s, we've been living in what we call the broadcast era of politics, which is television is a great tool for one person or one organization to speak to many people. As soon as you post something on the web and you open it up to comments or allow people to link to it, it's immediately possible for all the voices who have something to say about that to aggregate around it. Sure, the parties will still produce TV ads. But suddenly anyone can make a political video and post it. And the parties can dog other campaigns and post what they find. He's with my opponent. He's following us around everywhere. Handheld camcorders are going to be ubiquitous uh, during the next federal election. We know that all the parties are already making plans. There is going to be a, there will be whole other silos of the campaign that will be focusing on the internet, getting their message out. A big part of online politics is you. Send us your photos, your videos, your sound. We want to hear and see what you're seeing. We'll post it and broadcast some of it on CBC. You never know what story starts online.